what is up guys we are doing the interior portion now of uh, the dog run um, I want to get that done first so that I can see where the doggy doors will have to line up so I don't make any mistakes on placement on those so we're gonna get the whole interior part done uh, we're gonna do that in wood and uh, some wire so uh, hopefully that'll go smoothly and then we can um, get the rest of it all um, buttoned up before winter really fully hits because uh, I'd like to have this all done by then. So anyway, let's get to it. All right. So this is the area here that's going to be replaced. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to make a uh, dog run that um, extends out from underneath this windowsill and comes down. And I'll have two separate areas in here uh, that are divided in the center. And uh, that'll be just be an inside area that will have uh, dog houses in it and their food bowls and stuff so that they can come in out of the elements. And then outside of here will be the whole um, outside uh, dog run area that we put the partition in. So uh, that's the, the idea. So um, we'll see how well uh, this, this works. Um, I do want to, um, I'm only going to come out about this high because over here in this corner, I want to put some more shelving uh, in above it uh, the way that we did in the rest of the garage. So uh, that's the idea and hopefully um, we're going to um, have a nice little space for these monsters. So we got everything all laid out, got our cuts figured out, so now we're going to start the cutting. We're going to be using a Craig jig to put the holes in to connect the pieces together because we're just doing straight cuts. That way there'll be two holes in here that we can drill into the adjoining pieces. All right, so we got all the pieces cut and drilled for the first piece. And we're gonna start putting it together.
so we're all done with the first frame came out pretty good and now we can put some wire on this and I'm leaving so I'm leaving him to uh, start the next phase we'll see how he does all right. hey hey you guys almost got stomped you guys almost got beat up those deer don't play no, they don't. Alrighty guys, so we're about ready to put the whole thing together. Uh, Christopher did a pretty good job putting um, all the panels together. We have the four panels that we're gonna need for the front of the kennel. And then these are the two that are going to make up the top. There's going to be a top on this because um, especially the poodles are pretty good at climbing so they can climb right out if uh, it's just wire. So we're going to have a top on it uh, to keep them contained on the inside part so they don't end up in the garage. And they like to climb up on the um, shelves and you know bring stuff down and chew on it. So um, we're going to put a top on it. It's going to be all fully enclosed. And uh, I'm pretty impressed. I, I left, uh, I showed Christopher how to do one of these and uh, uh, left them for him to do and he got them all done and they look pretty good. So uh, I'm impressed. So if you, uh, if you have some home projects that uh, you don't have time for, just get yourself a 20 year old that still lives at home and you can have your own personal slave like me. Uh, so uh, anyway, so yeah, we're going to get started. We're going to get it all um, put together and installed now. So uh, hopefully it all goes well. All right, let's get after it. All right, so this is the area that we're going to have it in. And we have two pieces that are going to go on the top. So we're going to have those supported by a two by four um, screwed into the studs here. There's going to be a center divider that has like a, um, a cap on it and then a two by four on that side. We're gonna put the two pieces on top of that and secure it down. And then we're gonna put all four panels on the front here. So it should be pretty simple. We'll see what we run into as we go along, but the first thing I'm gonna do is lay everything out. I already laid out the height that the two by fours will go at. Now I just need to lay out where the studs are, so uh, make it a little bit easier as we go along. So let's see how this goes. to secure these brackets, uh, secure the, the center section with these metal brackets into the wall, but there was no stud um, out in this area. The stud is actually right in line with where the, um, where the wall will go, so uh, where the centerpiece will go. So we had to put these boards in and secure those to the studs, and then we can um, use the board to secure the center section too. So it should work out okay. Uh, it's also convenient because uh, Hazley started to just chew the wall. Yeah, isn't that great when your dog just decides to start eating drywall? Um, so uh, we were able to cap that off so that maybe it'll keep her from doing that. Um, so that's that's good. I think I'll have the, the poodles on this side and the, uh, the Frenchies on the other side. So, uh, you know, because Hazley will also probably try to rip this off of the wall, uh, which is really special. But. Uh, the, the joys of having French Bulldogs. And uh, so anyway, uh, that's what we're doing now. Well, kind of forgot that I need to have these at a certain height. So luckily this one um, lines up with the top 
enough to get it in there. But this one um, just sticks out, and so I just want to cut it off. I'm just going to cut it off with the um, with the uh, zip disc, and then um, I can drill it into the the um, vertical piece. So no big deal, but a uh, little oopsie. So anyway, one more step. All right, so now we're all set to put the tops on and then we'll uh, zip those in and then we can start putting the front on. Got a little issue not a big deal we need to pull the wire off because on these ones the wire clears so it's nice and tight but on these they don't so um, we need to pull these out and, and uh, probably take one rung of the wire off and uh, and get it to where it lines up better and then we'll be almost there All right, so this is about all we can do for tonight, so we'll get started back on it tomorrow morning. Um, all that we have left is to put the uh, doors on, and then we're also going to make uh, we're also going to make two plywood uh, dog houses for the inside. So, and then they'll be about done, with the exception of the doggy doors going through the outside and that whole part. So. Uh, Pretty happy with it so far, so we'll see um, when it's all said and done. Um, you know, uh, I think it'll be good. All right, see you tomorrow. All right, so this is what we have so far. It's looking pretty good. We're at the point where we're going to put the uh, the doors on and the latches, and then we can get started on the um, on the uh, dog houses. So. Looking pretty good. So pretty simple construction. I, I like the way I did this because it went together really, really easy. So we just put a two by four into the studs on the side at the height that it needs to be. <clears throat> and, um, you know, have this middle piece with some brackets on it. And then these pieces just sit right on top. And then we can just screw the, um, the front pieces directly into this and uh, just have a little uh, construction bracket in the corner at the bottom and uh, made it pretty uh, pretty stable but um, not uh, you know very simple construction and so um, I like simple uh, <laughs> um, because wood's not really my forte so um, yeah so it's coming together I'm pretty happy with it so far so uh, on to the next stage here.
All right, so both doors are in. Looking pretty good. They open nicely. Um, you know, I'm gonna put the latches on. doghouses for the corner here they'll come out to about right here and then we can drill into the doghouse and it'll also give this some more rigidity which um, we definitely need because these dogs are crazy they will they will test the limits of this thing so <laughs> um, that'll be good and it'll give them uh, it'll give them some nice warm shelter in the winter and uh, make them feel more uh, more at home so all right cool so we're going to start building those we're just building those out of plywood we'll put their existing beds inside of them uh, plywood with a little lip at the bottom and then i'm also going to do on top of the the uh, doghouse will come up to about right here or so and on the top i'm going to get uh, some carpet remnants and um, and uh, coat the top with carpet so if they want to jump up there and, and sit on the top too they can I'll give them kind of two two levels to um, to lay on, so should be good. And then uh, we'll be done with this part, and then we're going to have to put some doggy doors going through to the outside. Uh, I have a kennel outside there that uh, they'll be able to go into to go to the bathroom and stuff like that, and, and go outside and lay in the sun if they want. So that should be pretty good, but uh, still got a lot of work to do. So um, we'll have to keep working on it. All right, we'll see you soon. So we got all the pieces cut, well Christopher did, and uh, now I'm going to start putting them together. So uh, I'm excited because this is the, the last phase here. <laughs>
All right, here we go. Here's the first dog house. I'm pretty happy with it actually. It seemed too easy. All right, so we're all done. Got our uh, dog houses in and everything's good to go. So we're done with this phase now and uh, now we just need to get the outside area with the doggy doors going out there um, all set. So um, this will be it for this episode. Uh, we'll have the third part with uh, getting the outside uh, portion all together as well. So uh, make sure if you like this video that you look for that one. Uh, and we'll show you uh, how uh, we will do that part as well. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, you know keep the channel going. We appreciate it. And um, until next time, thanks for watching.